Recently I've been wanting to get more into computer hardware, looking at different graphics cards and CPUs and seeing how they perform head to head, but I was going to need a platform in which I could move stuff on and off easily, such as a test bench. Now I'm not willing to spend money on these test benches as they can be pretty expensive, so I decided to make my own. This test bench was inspired by Luke's video on Linus Tech Tips, go check it out, link in the description. So. I apologize for the audio quality as this was done outside with a camera microphone. Not the greatest, but hope you enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start by removing these little rivets <clears throat> so we can get the motherboard tray separated from the drive cages, um, optical drive cage, and the rest of the case. So we'll do that real quick. Okay, now that we have basically the entire case torn apart, hard drive cage included, we're going to need to cut this side panel to the same size as this motherboard tray. And we're just going to stack it on top of each other, draw a line, and then cut it with this juke saw. So, do that real quick, and we'll be back. Alright, so I put the block of wood there just to hold the side panel down. Now, there's a little gap right here <clears throat> in the table, and we're going to cut with the jigsaw down there. Since the blade isn't very long, it probably won't, it'll, it'll be fine. Now, this is a metal blade. If you do use a jigsaw, make sure that you use a metal blade, because that's how you use them. <laughs> and, yeah, we're just gonna go down this line. It's the jigsaw. a lot more vibrations than I thought. Let's go this side. Alright, that's that cut. Pretty straight, I'm not gonna touch that. It's sharp. Next, we're going to file this down so that it's much smoother, easier to work with. So using, using this file, it's very tedious. It's not really getting much anywhere, so we're going to pull out the big goons, get the Dremel. thing we need to do is get these the drive cage built back into the test bench. <clears throat> this is essentially just going to be the height of the test bench. And then we just need to find the width of the hard drive and drill that back in like it was in the case. So we're going to do that now. Alright, so I got one side of the drive cage installed with these nice black screws that I found laying around which goes great with the color scheme it's just black so we have one hard drive right here what we're going to need to do is space it out and then place this one right there and see just exactly how much space we need between the two Okay, so we're going to be able to use these little wood blocks right here as uh, three legs, because this is going to be a leg by itself. So what we need to do is we need to cut some off the top, and then we also need to cut these into smaller pieces that can go into the corners. And I think we'll use, um, we'll use the table saw for that. I think that'll be best. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that real quick.
Ooh, it's a little short. Uh, a little as in like quite a bit. According to this, it's one and a quarter. Maybe did I take one and a half off? Probably. Let's try to take one and a quarter off. So, ugh, it's too short again. What am I doing wrong? Buh. Okay, so I decided to take those two scrap pieces that I cut off, cut another one off, and then just use these as the three legs. Now I'm just going to need to trim the top down on these three, and I'm going to use the jigsaw because it's a little bit more precise, and I think that's what I need. So, we'll do that right now. We just we got these three cut, and they're looking pretty close, so I think this will work pretty well. Let's get them put on as best I can. Alright, so I haven't done any uh, screwing or drilling of the wooden support legs, things I can't talk on camera, but I haven't done any drilling yet. Um, they're just sitting there, but it looks pretty good so far. And we'll screw it all together and then hopefully we'll have a somewhat completed test bench okay so I got my holes for the legs drilled out now we just have to get these screws drilled through the side panel and into this piece of wood three pieces of wood Alright, so I just got these feet on, but I just drilled this one in, and the wood split. Um, I'm not going to take this off and do make another one, because it's just going to take too long. And this is structurally sound, so I'll just leave it, and if it breaks, then that sucks. But eh, I think I can live with it. It's not that big of a deal until it starts affecting the structural integrity of the test bench. So... Yeah, let's get the top put on and see how it looks. two legs installed and they're holding pretty good weight. Now we need to get the hard drive cage drilled and mounted, which I think is going to be the hardest part. It's also like the last necessary step. Alright, so we got all the screws drilled into the legs, and it's actually really sturdy, let me just show you. Ugh, yeah. So, <clears throat> we got four screws into the hard drive cage, screw here, here, and here. We do have that crack in the wood, but I don't think there'll be that much of an issue, considering this won't be moving up and down a ton. Um, so I think the next thing that we should do is put a full computer on here. Um, so let's do that real quick and we'll be back. Alright, so we put my brother's computer on the test bench that I just finished making. And it looks pretty nice. Now I'm just going to talk a little bit about some things I might want to change. Because as you can see the cable management is not ideal. 
Something I think I'm going to fix is the SATA cables. It's really awkward to route them around there and then down back into the hard drive and the USB hub thing. <coughs> so I th I'm thinking about drilling a hole or a cutout or something so that will go right directly down into the drive cage to help with the cable management there. As for the power supply, I think it would be a lot less clustered if it was able to move down here because cables are everywhere and then you just had like the CPU power coming up from right here and then you had the motherboard and the GPU like that instead of just a big mess also in the future I might consider adding something um, down here to support maybe a radiator or something so I might be able to throw my Kraken onto the test bench if I wanted to, I don't know, water cool and overclock I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this yet but I think it looks pretty good, especially for being a free test bench that I made in a couple of hours. So, yeah, that's that. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you thought it was pretty stupid, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.